All right, I don't know what you did during the Rona, but you know what? I couldn't go on any trips. I couldn't be with my friends, and I got into all sorts of crazy projects. And the top of the list is my Corona chicken coop. I started this thing thinking, okay, I'll spend a couple of days. And then I was talking to my dear friend Ellis, and he says, Rich, I know a place to go shopping. And I says, do tell, Ellis. And he took me across the highway into a whole big new subdivision and he showed me all of the two befores and the plywood and everything that's thrown away. So I set a personal goal to build this entire thing with stuff that had been thrown away. There's the leftover, Catherine, if you'll go over there uh, uh, and do it. So this entire chicken coop, which I am affectionately referring to as Zuzu's Palace. Zuzu's my favorite chicken. She's the little black one underneath her that comes up to me and is very exploratory. Uh, AKA the Taj Mahal of all chicken coops. What I thought was gonna t take a couple of days has been a couple of three weeks now and my editor is not very happy with me because I'm about two weeks behind in my writing, but voila, I got the chicken coop of all chicken coops here. Notice it's asphalt tile. I've got a uh, header uh, board on a vinyl header board. Could, can't do it without my, my family logo on there. Boy, that, if that wasn't tricky, cutting those little hardy board pieces out and getting them colored. I gotta get the grandkids still on there. Uh, I found this tempered glass window in a dumpster, and so that's a bathroom tempered glass window. A little nice slope coming off of here so that when the grandkids come down to get the, the eggs, they can just open that up with all those beautiful little uh, lay boxes in there, not to pinch their little fingers. Nice little hinge latch into that. Then I come over to this side and I've got a electric plug. I could just take a normal electric wire and reverse plug it so I could plug into that. On the other side I have a USB. And of course I have a power in there when I need it. Uh, I can put a light switch if I ever choose to and just flip on and off without ever having to open that in case it's wet. I've also got obviously a, a place to hang your jacket. And, Everybody needs a towel rack. So I threw a little towel rack up there. My wife says, why'd you do that? And he says, I know, because it looked good and I felt like doing it. <laughs> um, one of my favorite features is I put hinged uh, shutters on there that actually really work. And it's beautiful to vent in the summer. And then in the winter, I can just swing those through and they're heavy enough that they actually just hold in place and even a good windstorm doesn't touch them. They all, everything is hinged gables. Uh, nice little eaves. You'll see I put little eaves on the front and through the side. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go over to here. You'll see I was going to put a chicken. I found this great little hinge thing. This is one of the few things that I actually did buy. But I thought, why not just put a weather system on there? Rather than just a chicken vein, I'll put a weather system. So I got barometric pressure. I've got wind direction. I got precipitation, of course, temperature. I've got humidity. And the chickens are all telling me what I need to do. So there's my weather vane on there. I put a little automatic uh, feeding system that I can just fill that tube, tube right there with a chicken mash feed and, and it automatically feeds them down underneath there. The little, the little birds, I call them my girls. My girls love, love, love the dirt. So that gave them a nice little dirt outage. Nice little uh, swinging door here that goes in. I see all these uh, nutcases that are having to climb in their chicken hoose and scoop the chicken poop out. I had no part of that, although I love my girls, not that much. So I just put it right here level. I can get a wheelbarrow under and throw, or I can just take and pull it out into the, into the garden. And I did put this really high-end, nice laminate flooring down on it. This, I think it's called PBC or something. It's a really high-end flooring. My wife thought I lost my nuts when I actually put high-end flooring in. Notice they even got their own little clock in there. After all, chickens need to know time. And a great little perch bar that they can jump and bounce up into. Uh, their roost boxes and a little, I've got a nice little cabinet here that I can put, uh, I can put uh, various little things I don't want them at to, but I can keep out here if I need to, a tool or, or a, a spray or in. Right now I got a couple little plug things in there. One li fun little feature, if you'll, uh, hold there, Catherine, is, is, is I want to be able to crawl for the outside if they're in or out. So if they're in, I want to dump them in or let them out. I can just pull on this little lever. I could put a servo motor on there, but I thought that was maybe a little overkill. But nonetheless, I have it if it's needed. So there we go. They're in and latched and they're out. And 
and there we go. All right, one of my favorite features on this little hombre. I'll save my favorite for the last. Um, but what good is the high little coop without a chicken ladder? So I put a great little ladder to get up in there with the gables. Found that awesome little window in there, and you can see the family logo again there painted on there. My beautiful wife did that. And probably my favorite feature of the whole darn thing is this. I don't want to keep hauling them out water. So if it rains, then it hits the gutter, it comes down into the gutter, and uh, flows that water right down into that pipe and that tube, which fills that bucket. If it gets overdone, then it actually drains out of that. This feeds down into this little tube that then has a bunch of little pecker holes, and you just saw the chickens one minute ago hitting those. And they just come and back peek, peek uh, their peck into that little thing, and then they can get their water. Now, if I ever want to purge the system, I just flip that valve and out drains the whole darn watering thing and I don't have to worry about ever entering. It's a self-contained watering system. All right, well, that's what I did in the Rona. What did you do in the Rona? <laughs> Taj Mahal chicken coop. I'm ready to get back to my normal life now.